good morning. It is Thursday the 6th of January, it is 7am. Today I'm going to Florida. I've not said those words in a very long time because obviously as we all know this like pandemic thing started and it's yeah I don't think I haven't been in Florida well I left the ship in March 2020 but my last time in Disney World was November 2019 for a day and before that was September 2019 when I had like a two week holiday. I didn't think I'd go back for a very long time but I'm going back today. I'm going today for about 12, 13 days. I'm going with my friend Claudia um, who is somebody I met via um, social media and um, she was doing a CRP program when COVID happened um, so unfortunately she didn't get to do a full year. We have that in common and she is as Disney crazy as I am and we're going today. She's flying from Manchester, I'm flying from London, we're meeting there. She's doing the half marathon on Saturday because she is crazy but she'll tell you that herself. She did a full marathon with no training when she was on her program. I'm very excited, I'm very nervous, obviously there's a lot of precautions and things that you have to do to go, oh I'm out of focus, there we go, <laughs> I've not done this in a while so this will be interesting. Um, I'm triple jabbed, taken all my tests, as prepared as I can be, I know it's going to be different, I know it's not going to be the same, but I'm really excited to go home and have some Disney magic. I don't know what to expect really, but I'm very grateful to have the opportunity to go back. Can't imagine being at an airport or being on a plane or anything anymore. So yeah, um, lots of things have changed in the parks, such as fast passes are gone. There's Disney Chini now. Um, a lot of things still aren't open or are changed because of COVID. So we will see, I will show you what I can and take you with us and yeah, we're going to Florida. Okay, I've come to wear the spoons because I just wanted sausages, bacon, hash browns and toast. <laughs> I'm gonna sit and have my little breakfast. It is 9.16, so I've got plenty of time to sit and enjoy and have a drink. I truly don't think there is anything better than a bookshop. At an airport, I just wanna buy all the books. I don't, I don't need all the books, but I wanna buy all the books. It's 12 o'clock and I have a cup for lunch because I'm still hungry because I had an early breakfast. Which you saw, um, and my plane's delayed a bit, so I've come to get ramen from Wagamama's. The check in process was so easy. Um, I used the Verify app, which BA recommended for me to use, which meant I saved a massive chunk of queuing and was really speedy. But they had all my COVID documents, and I was just good to go. Um, and then security, I just walked straight through. It was so quick, it took like 30 minutes. So, um, yeah, it's very weird. The airport is deserted, it's really weird to be back at my lunch, get a coffee and then see if I can find my gate. I'm very excited but weird to think I'm going to be on a plane after so long. Can't really see it through the window but there is the plane. I'm at the gate now. I'm going to get on in a minute. Hello, this is all 
Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer. If you're a resident of Central Florida, I want to welcome you home. If you are visiting our community, welcome to the city of We want to assure you that health and well-being is our top priority, not only in our world-class theme parks and attractions, but all of our accommodations, our restaurants, our retail establishments, and of course our parks and culture. We are glad that you are here. Claudia. Hi. Hello. Um, this is very weird. This is very weird, but good weird. I'm going to take a photo on the carpet and then with the new sign, which is over there, which I've changed for the 50th. And the fountain and the shop. Oh! Oh! Okay. Feels like it's about 15 hours since this day started and you can see it in my face. Um, do you know what I always think? When they take the photo of you when you get to the um, American people, Customs Border Protection, and they say look at the camera, I think those photos, they must look at them like when they need a laugh because <laughs> I'm like sweating. I look like a murderer on mine so I, I tend yeah, to Yeah, I'm surprised they let me in the way I must look in my photo. Um, but we're here, we're staying at the Wyndham Garden Lake Buena Vista, uh, which is literally next to Disney Springs. Um, so we're here for, I don't even know how many nights, quite a while, a while. Seven, ten. Ten nights. Um, let me show you, we've got one of those weird beer windows where, can you just go out there, go just to verify this, because I'm concerned, we think that we can see out. Oh, shit. <laughs> Thank God we checked. <laughs> We would have just got changed not knowing <laughs> we not. thought this was a we can see out but they can't see in but it's not um this is a really nice room it's very like calming got some nice little bird hooks got lots of plugs <laughs> lots of <laughs> lots of cupboards um yeah there's the beds lamps and here, I love American like slidey door bathroom separators. I'm a big fan of that. And over here we have, uh, I guess, a vanity area. Um, okay, you can only, that's a one door open situation. That's fine. There's <laughs> a hanging space. Um, and then we have a bath and shower. Yes, it is nine o'clock. I'm absolutely starving. Um, I think we're gonna go over to Disney Springs. Claudia's gonna meet up with a friend. And get some food. I'm gonna try and get Blaze pizza. We're both very overwhelmed and very um yeah overwhelmed is just the word. I don't know what the other word would be. But anyway, hopefully the next thing you see will be pizza because I'm very very hungry. It's still closed. No. <laughs> we made it to Disney Springs. It was like a five minute walk from the hotel which is really good and it brings us out by Earl of Sandwich. It's very weird, very weird. We're going to run over to Blaze and get some dinner. Claudia's going to meet her friend. This is, a, this is a dangerous place to be. Marketplace co-op, that's where they've got loads of the 50th stuff. This is, this look, she's so happy. I don't even know if I said this, but Claudia is running the half marathon on Saturday. So tomorrow we're going to carb load. This is her training right now. Claudia on her program did the full marathon without any training. Um, so we're hoping she can recreate it. <laughs> that was the last bit of exercise Claudia did. Look! I'm so excited to wash my hands in basin. And just like that, it's like I'm home. I am so happy. I'm about to get a blaze pizza for the first time in like over two years. Literally the happiest I've been in a very, very long time. Just been in the world of Disney and had a little look. I'm gonna do this. My favorite thing to do is come into Basin and wash your hands with their scrubs and soaps. It's so good. And then I'm gonna leave because I need to go and unpack and shower. It's 11.40, which is much later than I thought, but basically, I broke my suitcase and somehow when packing changed the combination on the lock so I just couldn't get into it so we were watching YouTube videos of how to break into your own suitcase and I've done it so that was fresh that was stressful because I was like I'm gonna have to go to Target and buy 
two weeks worth of underwear and clothes and everything, but I didn't need to, got there in the end. I bought this pop socket, this like iridescent, I didn't need it at all, but I just saw it and was like, I really like that. And I bought two of these um, bags, they have them in small, medium and large. This is the large one. I use these a lot at home, um, but this is the 50th, the world's most magical celebration bag. So I got two of these and I'm gonna pick up more in the other sizes when I see them. Um, there was a lot of merch in World of Disney. There was a lot going on in there. So I need to go back and have a proper look when I'm not like feeling like I'm having an out of body experience. But anyway, we're both unpacked and I'm gonna go and have a shower because I feel disgusting. And then I'm really excited to lay down and be cozy and um, go to sleep and then see what happens. Tomorrow's Friday, isn't it? Tomorrow's Friday, yeah. Friday the 7th. Claudia is going to the expo it's like tomorrow. It's six hours till I have to run <laughs> She's got to run a half marathon, is it? Also, well, what time do you have to be? Also, my from walking around the <laughs> room, which is not a good sign. Um, how many, how far have you walked today though? Look Let's at your check distance. my steps. Claudia has to be at Epcot by the latest of half past three in the morning. <laughs> I've done three miles today, so another 10 and I'm, I've nailed it. She's gonna be fine. Yeah. Um, I don't think that's right, I must have walked more than that. Maybe it was just a shock to your system because you were sat down for oh, so no, long. I've done six miles today. Oh, so that's half. That's okay. okay. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so she's got to go to the expo tomorrow to pick up her running bib and her um, sachets. Yeah, my, my energy gels. Energy gels, can you tell I'm not a runner? My participation, no, that's not the word. My contribution to this is that I have said I will carb load with her tomorrow night because <laughs> I am nothing but a supportive oh, friend. Friend. I really am a true friend. So tomorrow we're gonna go to Olive Garden um, and I'm gonna eat Alfredo and I might cry because I lived off Alfredo when I was on my program and when I was um, working on Disney Cruise Line. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna, talk, so I'm, I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm boring myself now. I'm gonna go and sort myself out and then go to bed and we will see you tomorrow. Good night.